2021 is almost over. And I think we can all agree that compared to last year, it has been a perfect year. So for the rest of the month, we'll be remembering all of 2021's best moments in our year-end segment, a look back at 2021, the least bad year of the last two years. Tonight, Michael Costa takes a look at all the top scams of the year. A lot changed in 2021. The length of Kanye's name, the energy level of our president, my in-laws Hulu password. But one thing that didn't change is that people still fell for anything. You know how they say a sucker's born every minute? Well, this year there was more sucking going on than an orgy at the Dyson factory. Oof. Starting with one of the most ridiculous scams people fell for, NFTs otherwise known as non-fungible tokens. It's basically when you buy the rights to a piece of digital art. And hang on to your Apple wallets, they got pretty expensive. $200,000 for a LeBron James dunking clip, $600,000 for, I don't even know what that is in the middle, and, and millions for Jack Dorsey's first tweet. This image of digital toilet paper is worth $2,100. Yeah, 2100 bucks for digital toilet paper. I guess it'll come in handy when I have to take a dump in the metaverse. Sadly, gullible idiots spent millions on NFTs thinking they have actual value, when in reality they can become worthless at any time, which I found out the hard way when I sold my house to buy this NFT of a dog wearing pantyhose. What can I say? I love art. My next favorite scam of 2021 was the meme stock. All year long, people were pumping money into terrible businesses just because the internet thought it was cool. It was the financial equivalent of the Tide Pod Challenge. And no stock was more memed than GameStop. Its stock had been declining in value for a long time because it's a store that tries to sell you video games that you can download at home. And if there's one thing gamers love, it's leaving their house ever. But of course, like all meme stocks, this whole thing is just a big roller coaster ride. And the only question is, who's the sucker who's going to be left holding the bag when the price crashes? Turns out it was me. I bought it all at the top. Not totally my fault. My cousin is a hedge fund manager and he assured me that this thing was foolproof. Anyway, he's living in Turks and Caicos now, and I'm living in an airport, La Quinta. But let's move from Wall Street to Pennsylvania Avenue, home of the scam that kicked off 2021 is somehow still going strong. It's the biggest lie since, oh, that fedora looks great on you. Trump's claims of voter fraud. He and the GOP convinced his supporters that Joe Biden stole the 2020 election, which led to the January 6th insurrection, AKA Cuchella, Magapalooza, White Stock. I mean, guys, come on. If the election had been rigged, we would know by now. Probably because Biden would have accidentally said it in a speech. The man has no filter. But instead, people were foolishly led to believe that they could actually stop the election from being certified. But the truth is, that was never possible. Unfortunately, I only found that out after I got maced by Capitol Police inside Chuck Schumer's office. I got his mouse pad as a souvenir, though. Still has some chicken salad stains on it. A anywho, as I said at my bail hearing, I deeply regret my participation. Let's move on to CRT, or critical race theory. This was a big scam spread by right-wing culture warriors that suggested your kid's elementary school was teaching white kids that slavery was their fault. And some parents, <laughs> they bought it hook, line, and sinker. The Western culture and values that brought forth Christianity in the founding documents are being called evil and racist. Critical race theory is a Marxist philosophy and a cancer. Just because I 